Here at Wave, we are proud to partner with Abbey Road on the River, and they are celebrating their 20th anniversary. With us now to talk about all the things you can look forward to, all the great bands, all the celebration. Once again, uh, Allie Hawthorne is back with us. Allie, welcome back. Thank you. And also Melissa Brum. Melissa, welcome. Thank you. Okay, there's like 20 years. Now, how many years have you been with them, Allie? Oh, gosh, 12, I think. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting up you there. You got a nice little run. It's been a blast. You're kind of like the fifth Beatle. Oh, yeah. They call me Penny Lane. They call her Abby Rhodes. You know, we're right at home. We're, we're amongst a few thousand of our family members. That's how it feels when we're at the festival. Exactly. Uh, we this, all share that common bond. Yeah. We're loving the music of the Beatles. So. Yeah, I, I, you're exactly right. There is a brotherhood, a sisterhood. It's, it's a special club. If you love the Beatles, who doesn't? Mm -hmm. And great music, Abbey Road on the River is the place to go. And it's a magical weekend because it's for everyone. The entire family is welcome. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about what makes this one special. Before we get into the lineup, I, I don't know nothing. And much about the love show. So, Melissa, I'm going to go to you. Okay, what exactly is the love show and how does it play a part? So, we've been do producing the love show for years, and this year we're doing a, a little differently. It's based on the 2006 album that came out that was produced by um, George Martin and his son Giles Martin. Uh, George Martin was the Beatles producer, and so it was this remix mashup of all these Beatles songs. And Cirque du Soleil took it and did a, did a show, and then we took it and made our own. Um, version of it, you know, so it's this visual arts uh, version of that album. And this year we have uh, two of our best bands, the Newbies from Cincinnati and Classic Stone from Columbia, are going to be taking it and running with it and putting their own spin on it. So it's a really fun show. All right, so we're going to make it worthy of a 20 year celebration, right? Okay. Yeah. I, want, I want to talk about this lineup here because you mentioned the Newbies, and I'm very familiar with them. Mm -hmm. Tommy James and the Shondells? He still got it, John. My goodness. We're going to get to hear so many of those songs that we know. You were telling me he sounds great. He does. And he's, he's rock and roll. I mean, this guy's lived through it. Uh, these songs have stood the test of time. We still hear Crimson and Clover, and I think over we're alone over. now, and Moni Moni. <laughs> I mean, these are songs that are earworms, and they, you know, you just love them. And um, again, just like all the bands that we invite to come to Abbey Road on the River, Tommy loves the Beatles and is going to do a tribute to the Beatles. And that's, that's really one of the things that keeps these bands coming to the festival and the fans coming from all around the world is, you know, the heart and soul of this event is around the music of the Beatles and embracing their message, which, which is peace and love. And it's amazing that we've been doing this for 20 years. But what's even more amazing is that the Beatles, for 60 plus years now, are still such a huge story in popular music. And they're still gaining new fans that are resonating with their music. And they're still influencing other bands. And so that's kind of what we do when we come together at Abbey Road. We celebrate. Their, their influence and their contribution to rock history. Yeah, the way the Beatles evolved, and, and as far as the lyrics, at first very poppy, you know, I want to hold your hand, and then, you know, you get to Sgt. Pepper's and all that, and it's really involved complex music mm -hmm. and really innovative music. Very. Yeah, very, very. And um, they go deep when they go into the meditation, yes. you know, phase, and we were talking about some of the cool guests we've had over the years come to Abbey Road, like Prudence Farrow, who was the inspiration behind Dear Prudence, and she led a yoga class, and we've had uh, some of the family members of the Beatles, Julia Bear, John's sister has come, um, Pete Best, who actually is the fifth Beatle, the original drummer for the Beatles, came to That's Abbey right. Road. So all these folks that surround the Beatles, they really like the opportunity, I think, to, to come to Abbey Road and celebrate the legacy of that band that is something that can just never be recreated. Uh, when the universe makes a collision like that and those four lads <laughs> from right. Liverpool got together, yeah. something magical happened and the world changed. Yeah, an argument could be made. They said two of the best songwriters, you know, of course, in Lennon and McCartney, but they also said George Harrison may have been the, in the top five at that time and maybe forever because he was a great writer You'll as well. And Ringo didn't do folks. too bad on his own either. He had a lot of Exactly. Sense. So you talked about tribute. You said Tommy James is going to do a tribute, the ultimate tribute, the Fab Four. If you turn your head... You might not. You might think the Beatles are up there. I mean, it's that close. Yes, they've got the look-alike, the hair, the suits, the the mannerisms. They've won awards for their presentation of the Beatles, and they're one of the big acts that we're excited to present again this year, at, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Yardbirds. Huge. Yardbirds, yes, they actually I don't think are going to make it. Yep. Oh, okay. uh, yes, that was a last. That was a recent change. Um, but we actually have tons of local bands that we're excited to talk about this year too. Yeah. Um, and we have the Circle. Oh yeah, toured circle. with the Beatles when back in '65, '66, which is very cool. Yeah. They were they were managed by the same manager. 
um, which is amazing. I know they had a hit because I I, I, I did oldies radio on, on radio. Before. You know what it is? I can't Big remember. Do you guys help red me out? Rubber red ball. rubber ball. Red red rubber ball. Rubber that's right. Yeah. That's a big one. And turn <laughs> down day. Like a red rubber ball. Yeah. Okay. Got gotcha. <laughs> I know you would be singing for us at some point during this segment. It's not going to be good. So I know you're cringing right now. Now, whenever you get big, like Abbey Road on the River, now maybe nowadays a podcast will follow, and apparently that is the case, right, Melissa? Yep. Yep. We launched a podcast this year, um, and it kind of just uh, we interview our musicians that come to the festival every year. We just talk about how the Beatles influenced them and how the festival has influenced them. So some of our bigger um, names that we've interviewed are Gavin Pring from the Fab Four. He's the George Harrison lookalike, so he talks about how he got into being a George Harrison lookalike, how he got into the Beatles, and you know his whole career up until now. Um, we've also talked with Joe Johnson of Beetle Brunch. Um, which is a syndicated radio program that's been going for 30 years. And if anyone's a Beatle fan, they probably know about Beatle Brunch. And um, so, but the overarching, you know, theme of the podcast ten, is turning out to be about how iconic the Beatles are and how they're never going to go out of style. And we always, some conversations go to the future of the Beatles fans. I've interviewed a few younger bands that have come and it's just like can you see it going out of style and they're like no i think it's yeah. going to last forever yeah i mean you talk about standing the test of time and it really i mean it really it stands up well today the beatles would have hits anyway we, yeah. we're all fans we know that <laughs> so if you want a discount how does that happen you i think we partnered with you on this didn't we, we did. Allie? you guys at wave are so awesome and are supporting live music in this event again so if you use the code wave when you're purchasing tickets on our website you'll save 15 percent and that's good on all the ticket packages single day, multi day, VIP or just general admission and as you mentioned it's a very family friendly event. So you'll see lots of families with young kids there and all ages. Um, it's just uh, we're we're very happy to be presenting a safe outdoor event uh, to kick off the summer this Memorial Day weekend. So get your tickets and save 15 percent with that wave code. Yep. Once again, May 26th through the 30th. Get your tickets now. Okay. I think I've asked you this before, Allie, and I may be repetitive, but I want to ask Melissa for sure. Both of you are Beatles aficionados. You you know everything. So, okay. Either favorite song or favorite album, or maybe both, Melissa. For you. Oh, my favorite song is Let It Be. I just I love the the whole theme of that song. Just the way to live life. I, I know this is going to be weird because it's it's kind of an odd song, but Norwegian Wood, I love that song, mm -hmm. and when my guitar gently weeps. Mm. Oh yeah. Very, I mean, just beautiful song. But I, yeah, I applaud you for yours. You're right. Let it be is beautiful. I love it. You talk <laughs> about lyrics. Pass the test? <laughs> lyrics that stand up right now, definitely. Exactly. Okay, so back to you. I think I've asked you before, but go ahead. I have to say, in my life, I just every time I hear that song, it gets me in my feels, and it just it does something to me deep inside, and. I just love that so many of their songs make me feel so deeply, um, and I think that that speaks for a lot of the people that come to this event and uh, have so much love and adoration for the Beatles. They found a great thing and they shared it with the world. This album cover is fantastic. Thank you for bringing that in. If we sure. get a shot of that, that'd be great. And we want to tell you that, hey, how would you like to win some tickets? So right now, we'll take the first two callers at 800-888, uh, wait a minute, is that right? 800-888-9283, I think that's right. Anyway, she'll put it up on the screen. There we go. Gosh, I'm all backwards. 888-800-9283. Okay, be one of the first two callers. You'll get a pair of tickets each to Abbey Road on the River. And once again, that is May 26th through the 30th. And for those of you who do not win, don't forget to use the code WAVE, correct? Is that all right? That's it. Thank you so much. Melissa, thank you very much. Thank you very it was much. Educational experience that I enjoyed very <laughs> much. I know something new about the Beatles every day now, thanks to you guys. Thank you Thanks very for much. Having Abby, us. Always good to have you. All right. Abbey Road on the River, we're proud to partner with them. Okay, coming up here. How would you like to have the mobility of a 20 year old? But I'm telling you, you need, if you're getting chiropractic care, it needs to fit you. It needs to be 